Alright guys, it's Star Wars Sunday. What up guys, we're gonna do a little SOTOR today. Man, I'm excited uh, because I haven't played SOTOR in a while. In a while. I actually played a little bit today. A um, little bit this early this morning. To kind of like uh, just re-familiarize myself with where I was in the actual game. And I just beat Darth Malgus. So I think now I'm at a spot where um, I can either like do this uh this um prelude rise of the hut cartel or i can do like the expansions and i've never done the expansions Rhonda, what's up hello there how you doing how's it going um but yeah i've never done the expansions so um hold on i gotta fix this thing real quick i forgot i have to do this every time I can't wait till um, YouTube gets a few features for the live streams that make it, things a little bit, bit easier. I'm doing good, doing good, doing good. I got, I got some fun new sounds on here, you know. Um, you know, Another happy landing. ready for a little bit of Star Wars tonight. So um, let's see. I can't remember. I'm a, uh, a Sith Mandalorian. I'm a Mandalorian mercenary here, guys. So. Um, so let me see here. What do I want to do? I think I can do a few flashpoints or I can do. Hold on, let me see what these missions are. Uh, if I can remember. There we go. So that's a flashpoint, so I don't want to do a flashpoint. Is this KOTOR? No, this this is a uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It's uh, the Star Wars MMO. All right, I think we're going to do this hut mission. We're going to do this this hut mission, I think. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go to our ship real quick. But it is Old Republic, Rhonda, so it is Old Republic. So it's, it's still um, in that kind of era. Unfortunately, this is not canon, although the story is amazing. Like, the story is just fantastic. I've just finished now, cleaning the fuel injectors to the sublight drive. You should notice a 0.00008% power increase. Thanks, buddy. That's one of my little companions there. They got in the game. Uh, I was actually on the Imperial Fleet. That's where I was at there. So use your ship mission, mission console. I think that's the middle one right here. Use it. Do the hut mission. Oh, that's not it. That's the hollow terminal. That's it right there. Um, yeah, I think that's next before I get into the expansions. Robbie, what's up, Robbie? How's it going? Um, okay, so hold on. Countdown to doomsday. Um, spoiler warning: Due to spoilers in this mission, you may prefer to complete your class story first. I think I have completed it. I think I have. What up, Doc? T Prime, what's up, man? All the cool cats in here. You gotta turn lightsabers on. Good job. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. What time is it? It's prime time. Um. So yeah, Robbie, what do you think? Uh. Do, do you think I need to do this hut or should I just go do the next like, expansion? I'm pretty much like at the end of the regular game. So I think I might just do the expansion next because I'm level 71. You know, I'm, I'm high enough level. By the way, this is the farthest I've ever been in SOTOR, like the farthest ever. I don't know. I think I think I might do it because I think right here. Is it here that I can I can't remember how you do the expansions? Is it this one? No, that's space missions, which I don't want to do. Go ahead on to the other. OK, so how do I go to that? I forgot how to do that. Is it on my map? My galaxy map? Uh, I don't actually remember. 
Um, is this on your PC? It's a PC only game. PC only, Rhonda. See, I thought it was this intercom, but it won't let me do it. Like I was gonna click on it, but it won't let me do it. Yeah, it's a, it's a PC only, unfortunately. I, I always had hopes that they would, uh, hold on, is it this one? Shadow of Revan, no. Fallen Empire, no. Forgotten World, no. I don't think it's on any of those. I may have to Google it to figure out how to do it. Or it may be back on uh, the Imperial, back on the Imperial thing. This game is awesome though, Rhonda. It's a really cool game. I really enjoy this game a lot. Yes, I have finished that book. Um, I was gonna get it, but um, you think you do Shadow of Revan first? Oh, gotcha. Okay, well, let me go back to my ship then. Never mind, I'm going back to my ship and do the Shadow of Revan. Come on, go to my ship. Or not. I'm right here, probably just let me do it this way. Yeah, I got a couple of um, shorts that I put up today that were in the the uh, Secrets of the Jedi book. So, pretty cute. And it's some artwork that was in the back of the book. I put up a short for that. Just because I thought they were cool. So technically, if this was canon, technically, Rhonda, this would be... This would be, like, way before, like, Revan or any of that. Well, right after Revan, I guess you could say. Kind of in that same time period. So I need to do Shadow of Revan. Okay. Let me do that then. We shall do the Shadow of Revan. It's on the Imperial Fleet. Is that where that's at? Looks like it. Let's go in there. Ah! Let's go in there. Let's go in there. What do you say? Go back to the Imperial Fleet. Yeah, it's uh, it's basically the during the uh, the Republic and the Sith or the Jedi Civil War. Basically, it's kind of like that era, that era. I'm a I'm a Mandalorian bounty hunter. OK, let's do this real quick. Let's take that off and go right there. So it's exactly where we need to go and I can use my jetpack there. What's cool about this game, too, is you have basically people that are playing on the light side and people that are playing on the dark side, and it can affect the game since it's considered an MMO, you know? Uh, a little laggy there for a second, wasn't it? This one right here. allies for sure the force will be with you this always hunter always you must tell me sometime what it's like being a virtual celebrity what's this all about you represent the last most vital piece in my plan to shake the republic to its very core i'd say more but it's better we speak in person all right i promise you Together, we will change the face of the galaxy, starting with the planet Tython. Tython. All right, let's do it. I always felt like the droids in this game, though. They sound like they're like uh, BB-8 underwater. That's what it basically sounds like. <laughs> All right, where do I need to go? Uh, speak. 
speak with okay he's got it he's he on the imperial fleet i guess yes i guess he is this way it does robbie it sounds like they're like r2d2 or bb8 that's underwater you know it's like well, you know all right let's talk to this dude what happens here by the way drinking tea ooh he's meditating dark side meditating I'm gonna show you guys drinking tea out of my old school Star Wars mug if there, I could carry a tune right I there. would sing I'm of this around. day Who what right we there? are about to accomplish the galaxy will forever behold on Orlando great wonderment Yes, I did, Rhonda. We actually talked about it a ton on our, our last Spindu podcast. Go check it out. It's up on YouTube right now. You can also listen to the audio I'm if you want, if you listen to just audio podcasts. All, we've never properly met. Darth Arcus. Yes, a pleasure. In my capacity as Minister of Military Offense, I have repeatedly enjoyed the fruits of your labor. And yes, you this have. is my most trusted advisor, Lana Benico. The hunt, the fateful moment, Sith then eyes, victory. Man. It's no wonder you've chosen your particular path. Sit eyes. Uh, I'm gonna flirt, because that's what I do. I'm the flirt. Maybe you'd like to go on a hunt with me sometime. I confess <laughs> I do enjoy a good chase now and then. We could discuss it later. Oh you've been invited gosh. here to perform an act once thought impossible. An attack on the Jedi Temple of Tython. Promising leads have been rare ever since Imperial intelligence was effectively dismantled. However, a source I personally oh, that's good, trust Robbie. has alerted me to a hole in I'm just gonna flirt with her a lot, then. That's what I'm gonna. All right, let's redo this real quick. That stinks. <sighs> Give me a second here, guys. Log back in real quick. To see my... Um, yeah, the bounty hunter council is pretty early in the game. That was that was weird. I guess everyone's playing because of the 10th anniversary. Oh, she will, Robbie. Oh, OK. OK, that's good to know. All right. Here we go. I think it's back. Hopefully it's back. There it goes. All right. Sorry, that was weird. Like it just kicked me completely out of the server. I bet you that there is a lot of people logged in right now playing this because of the 10th anniversary they did right now. All right, let's redo this. If I could carry, but perhaps I'm getting Darth Arcus. Yes. And All right, let's get to, back to it. Let's flirt with her again. Maybe you'd like to. I confess you've been promising if we act. And once we've. While you concern yourself with right, the assault, Lord Go will be tasked with keeping the temple secured. So long as we have control, we'll explore the artifacts and histories stored inside. Imagine all we can learn about the Jedi and the Force. Mm, not the Force. Uh, hey, if knowing that stuff keeps my number one employer flush with credits, I'm all for it. Then we're <laughs> agreed, Hunter. Good. I Your am shuttle a hunter. Awaits. By the time you reach Tython, our first wave will have established a foothold on the surface. I'll remain in constant contact throughout the offensive. Succeed in this, and together we will have signaled the beginning of the Republic's most humiliating end. Glory for the Empire! Glory! Glory for the Empire! But no, no disintegration. No disintegration, sir. So. Gotta make sure about that. Gotta watch out. Alright. Uh. Okay. Um. I need to go. Okay, so I need to do the flashpoint. Alright. Let's go to it. Where do I need to go? It's not in this area. 
be it's on my ship somewhere. Let me just do that. Let me go straight to my shit. Might find it. Oh, it's a uh, Tython. I was on Tython. Tython. I think I can go there from here, right? This is what happens when you don't play for a long time. We get all the stuff, all the stuff and the things. The galaxy map. Where's Tython, man? Oh my gosh, you serious, Robbie? Back all the way onto the fleet. Well, okay. Well, it didn't show up. So back we go. Back we go. I'm just I'm just practicing my loading screens. That's all I'm doing. We'll just we'll just fly back and forth all stream, guys. That's all we're gonna do. Yeah, I tried to click on it, but it didn't do anything. Like usually flash points, you can just click on it up in the top right, you know, but for some reason it didn't do anything. So I thought I had to go somewhere. See, you must be solo mode. Wait, let's go in here real quick. Do I have to get rid of my companion maybe? You must be in solo mode flashpoint to use this item. Oh, that's a combat support drill. Okay, yeah, I want to track it. Complete flashpoint assault on Tython. Well. And I just go from here. Oh, you know what? There's a thing. Yeah, I forgot. There's a thing in the main hall, right? In the hole or whatever. For flashpoints. In the main level. Completely forgot about that. There's like a flashpoint spot, like in this level, I think. Um, where is it? Cartel. Horabon. This one? Yeah, I think it's that way. Yeah, I think so. It's just weird because I was looking for the flashpoint and I think it's just the main little thingy. There it is, I see it now. I didn't see it previously. I think, uh, yep, that one right there. There we go. We got it this time. Thank you, Robbie. Yeah, slow claps. Thank you. Okay, why? There it goes. Yeah, I think the servers are getting hit, man. It took like three clicks to make it work on that. Let's do this. Let's go get some mans. Good little PPUs here. Go this way. Yep, right over here somewhere. There they are. Boom, baby! Got all those guys. We'll get some more guys over here. Let's hit them with the big guns.
Got him. Grab the stuff real quick. Go hit these guys. Do a little Healy Hill. Let's get ready. Bust him back a little bit. Just rockets, baby. All right, let's see if I'm going the right way. Yeah, there's something I have to destroy right here, so I need to destroy these little things right here, I think. Go. Here, click on this. Boom, there's one. Uh, the other one's straight ahead, so let's go get that one. Yep. Click on the pylon, the, the little pylon thingies. Oh, I can't use a mount. Okay, I gotta just run. Just gotta run on this. It's uh, over this way. Forgot it's a uh, tab, tab lock targeting. Dang, dude. I forgot how freaking awesome my Mandalorian is. Just jacking these dudes up. Jacking these dudes up. Oh, there's a big old huge destroy. Awesome. We got these little tiny troopers first. Get a little that and that and that. Take down the little guys first. Boom! Got him. All right, let's see what the next one is around the corner. Let's go. Right around the corner over here. We'll past the bridge. Let's take out these guys real quick. Might as well just take them out real quick. I think I have to go this way anyways, bam. Yeah, I gotta go across this bridge anyways. Yeah, Robbie, I'm, are you actually surprised how much I've actually played this? See, I told y'all, uh, even though I wasn't like... Y'all didn't see me playing it, doesn't mean I wasn't, haven't been playing it. You know what I'm saying? And those double bladed or double blasters. I wonder how hard it would be to respect, like, not to like do double blasters, but do like a melee weapon. I don't know how good that would be though. Like all my powers are powers are for like blasters and stuff. That. I forgot I can use that escape there. Always forget about that escape. I want you to see the story. Yeah, I'm ex excited. There is definitely a lot. Look for the Republic command platform. 
That's where you'll find the shield controls. There's definitely a lot more uh, like fun stuff happening now. It's not just the, the plain Jane regular stuff, you know what I mean? So that guy down right there. I uh, thankfully remember where all my hotkeys are too, so that makes things easier. I don't know why I use the AOE right there, but I did. Uh, there's something I have to blow up here. Make sure it might be up here. Thankful for the hotkeys. Ah, come on. Fire. Fire. Why aren't you shooting? Why aren't you shooting? What the heck? Okay. I'm trying to click on this guy. And I can't shoot him. That was weird. Okay. Let's let my uh, my compadres do that. Take out these side guys real quick. Boom. So I was thinking, guys. Um, you get ready for the Book of Boba Fett that we do, um, oh, there he is. That we do a watch, uh, watch party in the Discord, uh, re-watching the Mandalorian just to get ready. Ooh, glad I moved right there. Yeah, it would be kind of fun if we did something like that. Get a little help right there for them. Get that guy. Yeah, I figured it'd be kind of fun. We can we can watch it in the Discord and just get a group, good group together and just do that. I thought it would be kind of fun, you know? Oh, he's, he's immune from that concussion. I'm so overheated right now. Can't do anything but this, like the basic attack right now. There we go. He's not even looking at me. Look, he's looking at my my companion right there. Got something nice right there. Oh man, I got something nice. I'm gonna have to look at it. Let's see what we got here. Uh wow, dude, that's actually Is that better? I can't tell. Is that slightly better? Hold on, let's just see. Equip it. Hold on, let's do that again. So my accuracy, uh, I think, is 104. This one's 106. That's the major change. And I have more. I have more shields though. 
with this, so I think I'm going to put that one on because I have more shields. All good, Robbie. Uh, hold on a sec. Think. Let's use one of my XP bonuses there. Yeah, I think that was all I got from him, but I'm going to take it and put it on because it gives me more shields. I need more shields. Jump right over here and get these guys. That's where we're going. Guys are easy. Jeez. Seventy-two. Proceed into the Jedi Temple. All right. Do this then. Which I don't know where that is though. It's not sure. Oh, there it is. Okay. Showing it on the map over there. Rock and roll, baby. Got a little ways to run. Some Jedi up here. Jedi. Jedi Defender. Take some of that, Jedi Defender. They're toast. Get out of that real quick. Down, Republic Trooper down, baby. Keep it going. I do love the auto run too. It's always nice in MMOs. Oh, hello there. Mr. Berserker. Just stand right here in the face and just come behind him a little bit. He's just like looking at my companions instead of me. That's hilarious. It's shocking. There we go. Slow him down a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Pretty strong. Not bad. Not bad. Straight ahead. Destroy defense barriers. All right, looks like that's the first one right there. Look at all these Jedi, man. Jacked him, dude. Jacked you up. Jacked you up, man. Destroy that. Oh, wait. What the heck? Boom. I like to blow stuff up. All right. There's a couple more. Got to destroy all these. Got to destroy at least four. We'll get those guys. Guy off my guy. Got 
Got him again. Destroy this one. This is number two. Let's go to this one straight across from me. Get a little closer if we want. So basically, this is now your storyline. When you finish the flashpoint, it will lead you to the next and so forth, and you, and you won't need to go looking for them as much. Awesome, Robbie. That makes it a lot easier, for sure. I got one more to destroy over here. Robbie with the assists. Always love it. They have the high ground, but I'm going to rush them. Obi Wan taught me nothing. Oh my gosh, dude! Look at that, just mo murk those guys. Kaboom. Yeah, Robbie, you've you you've helped me so much in this game in the past. <laughs> it's like. Not even funny. Not even funny. Half the time I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, just push this button. Designer. That's this guy. Okay. I didn't know there was Jedi that were combat droid designers. More droids. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh, dude. That guy, like, he's trying to murk me right there. Get that up. Protecting myself. Got him before that thing went off. Did a little concussion. And stun him. Slow him down with the trap. Saw those guys coming. Oh, that disabled it. Sweet. I hit that like perfectly. Enjoyed every single keyboard that I smashed against my forehead. <laughs> Thanks, Robbie. Let's do this. Throw that out there. I think that dissipates some heat. Let's let these guys get a little closer first. Let's hit that first. I think they all went over here. They did. Uh, I try. I hit that too late. Yeah, it's been fun though. It has been a it has been a blast. There's that guy. There we go. Now let's, let's beef up on this guy a little bit.
There's his buddies again. Ooh, I got out of the way of that one, huh? Like every time I get close to, to killing those guys, they... There we go, got him. Another little uh, concussion here. Dissipate some heat. He's almost dead. Almost got him. Oh, he got away just in time. I think these guys are a little, little flame in action here. Jeez. Did I finally get him? I think I think I finally got him. Jeez, that was a good fight. That was a really good fight. Oh no, he's still alive. Just barely. Come on, kill him. There we go. Wow. So many stinking. He had so many guards. Like ridiculous amount of guards. What the heck just happened right? That was weird. Okay, so that's something I might want to keep. Uh, hold on. I think that's the same as my other, except... Let's, let's check, take a look here at the difference. Critical is 62. 60, just slightly less critical there. I think I'm going to keep what I had on. Yeah, there's a there's definitely been some really good fights. God, I need to find some better gloves. Eventually. There's definitely been some that Malgus fight. Robbie, I thought I was I was playing it earlier today and I thought I was screwed because I was fighting and he knocked me into a door and I got stuck. And so I couldn't move for the latter part of the fight. I still ended up winning, but then I couldn't go get the loot, so I had to log out, and I was like, well, I'm going to have to do all of that over again. But thankfully, it started me right where I was, so I just basically got the loot and then went to the moth. So I was happy about that. I was a little nervous there for, for a second. Jedi do adore their libraries. I wouldn't expect to find the room unoccupied where are you. Did I do adore the libraries? Oh, uh, is there more guys? Oh, geez, they keep coming. They keep coming! They keep coming! They're all just like Padawans or whatever, though. Like, just... Alright. You guys want to come to your demise? I one hit that guy. Did you see that? I one hit that Jedi. Just like, just destroyed him. All right, make sure I'm going the right way. That guy's dead. It's crazy though, man. It's like, uh, I don't know what the required level is, but I've been finding that I leveled up so much from doing all the side missions that I am just like destroying some of these guys. Just swing that. Oh, it's the other way. Just like absolutely just murking some of them. Like that right there. That that Jedi had no hope. Toast. That one had no hope either. 
No hope. Looked like I was supposed to interact right there. I was just testing it. Just testing. Just testing things. That's all. There's one. There's two. I feel like there's going to be a bunch of guys that come jumping in here in a second. Yep, there they are. Crisis response team. It's a crisis. It's a, it's a uh, quick reaction force. I'm not scared of you. All right. Um, keep going around the circle. Keep on rolling. Rolling. All right, let's see what happens here. It's the mother boxes. It's the mother boxes from, from, uh, <laughs> as if it wasn't enough to sense your presence. You oh seem to gosh. have a need to do everything as loudly as possible. This is the Jedi Temple. You are not welcome. Leave this sacred place now. You'll not get a second warning. Give up. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Surrender peacefully, Jedi. Trying to be nice. You've had your chance to retreat. Now you'll learn why. I'm the High Council's chief combat advisor. Okay, that's cool. If you won't go willingly, you leave me no choice. It's like it's like it just keeps doing that to me. It must be my internet or something. I don't know. Maybe there's just so many people that are that are going in right now for uh for everything. You know? Yeah, it's just I it's I guess that there's just a lot of people playing right now, you know? And then like the servers need to uptick or something. Just weird. I don't know why. I keep, that's the second time I got kicked from the server. Weird, man. I tell you, it's weird. All right, let's see if it'll work again. Let me turn this off real quick. If that does anything. My, my instant replay. That's how I get some clips sometimes. Hopefully it starts me in the fight and I don't have to go through all that stuff again. That's the only thing I can think of, Rob, because they just released the. See, now I got I got. Okay, hopefully I can. I'm not going to have to do all that stuff again. I may have to. I don't think I'm going to have to. But yeah, it's just it's just I get I guess they because they released that 10th anniversary, the 4K cinematics. So everybody must be hopping back into the game. It's the only thing I can think of. Just everybody and their dog wanting to play right now. Try this again. He's so powerful, he knocked me out of the if you won't go willingly, you leave me no choice. You knocked me out of the server. Can I can I hit these? Can I blow these up?
It's like, wh why can't I? There we You'll go. Be for your crimes. I'm trying to get like knowledge or something from that data con. There we go. There I we go. I knew that was going to come into a play somehow. A Jedi Knight fears no challenge. Maybe. How desperate of the Empire to send you here? Destroy the holocron or the datacron. Yeah, that's right. I will not tolerate this incursion. You'll be well, punished you're about for your to crime. tolerate it. I'm about to jack you up, homie. You could use a few lessons. I'm getting him. No! Right there. Shoot it. There we go. Your presence here disgusts me. Boom. No death. There is no death if there is only the force. Well, I still killed you. Still killed you. Whoa. Hello. What does this one do? That's kind of cool. I'm going to put it right there just to kind of look at it a little bit later. That was kind of cool. Wait. Can I get these holocrons? Can I... No. Or datacrons? Whatever they're. Alright, now I gotta go to the other side. There must be another Jedi over there. I gotta fight. It could also be my internet, Robbie. That's keeping me disconnected. Tech Ops already remapped the secure comms. Talented slicers we have in our employ, though even they pale in comparison next to you. Um, pardon the intrusion. I thought you'd want to know the Jedi Temple is now fully under our control. We have a number of Jedi Padawans in our custody. Must be recent additions. They didn't know the first thing about fighting. What would you have me do with them? Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what to do on this one, guys. I don't know if I should kill them. Or let them go. Hmm, I am a mercenary, so I'm not really like the type that's like cold-blooded Sith. So I don't know if I should kill them or if I should just be like, let them go. You know? Ah, this one's tough. I don't know. Um... Part of me feels like if I don't kill them, they're going to come back and like haunt me. You know what I mean? Also, part of me feels like if I do kill them, they'll come. It'll come back and haunt me later on when I try to deal with other things. I'm going to say let them go. What do we do with little fish? Catch and release. Let them tell everyone what we did here today. As you wish, sir. Yeah, we're gonna be we're not gonna be cold blooded. You haven't found it yet, Lord Go, because the blasted Jedi don't want it found. Keep searching. The temple and its mysteries are all ours now. 
Darthakus is indescribably pleased. Naturally. When you sent me, you had to know the operation would be a success. <laughs> I did have a feeling. On behalf of Darth Arcus, I thank you. This is a banner day for the Empire. Be proud. Be proud. Nice. What is this? A statue. Cool. You, man. Yeah. All right. Hold on a second. What does this say here? Opening galaxy map. What are we going to go to? I need to go back to the Imperial fleet. All right. Let's do it. Go back and talk to him again, I'm assuming. That's most likely what we got to do. Yep. Go chat with him real quick. Yeah, I figured it did. I got plenty of credits, though. The Force will be with you. Always. Well, I appreciate that, man. The Jedi Temple is force is with you. Hands. Always. Indeed it is. All thanks to your efforts, of course. At this very moment, Lord Go's team is exploring a hidden chamber rumored to hold the Jedi's most treasured secrets. Better still. The Republic will be reeling right now, stupefied over the humiliation you've wrought. My lord. Sergeant Tarston, do you not see that I have company? Yeah. Important company? Yeah. Of, of course, my lord. But I have a report from, uh, from Korriban. It seems the Republic, my lord, they... Spit it out. Try taking a breath, Sergeant. <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. My apologies. Republic apologies. forces have made landfall on Korriban and sacked the Sith Academy. What? A retaliation so soon? What's the present status? It's done. They've taken the Academy, secured it, and reports indicate that Darth Sovereus gave his life in its defense. Interesting. See. Leave us. Interesting. All right. Darth Sovereus made a fine addition to the Dark Council. We should all strive to be as loyal to the end. Wouldn't the Republic have been better off trying to reclaim the Jedi Temple? It's a perplexing matter, but we can't concern ourselves with it now. This guy. At this very moment, Jedi walk the halls of our Sith Academy, our Dark Council chambers. Yeah, he's getting Simply pissed. Simply outrageous! I'm going to coordinate with our forces on Korriban. Ensure you have a safe place to land as near the Academy as possible. Yeah, good job, Sith. Tython, good I will job. remain in close contact with you throughout the operation. A final note. Whoever is heading Republic operations on Korriban must be made an example of. Of course. Do not take their command lead prisoner. May the Force favor you this day. Wow, yes. he was pretty explicit on that the one, Woody. Force be with you. And with the great... He really doesn't... <laughs> Empire. <laughs> he really doesn't want to... Whoever did that to stay alive. I bet that's Revan, dude. Or a spirit of Revan or something. Alright. Complete the flashpoint now. Okay, it should be like right here. Yeah, there we go. That medical droid real quick so i can repair my stuff since i technically died please use all products only as intended be well i got almost nine million credits do you realize that i just i just realized that do you require medical Look attention eight million eight twenty eight eight point eight million credits be well. dang dang uh flashpoint vendor i don't need anything really here we go this does make it nice, Robbie, where I can just basically do everything like right here. Yeah. Let's go. I clicked you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go back. Hey, Corbon. Or is this known in canon? Corbon. Money! Money! This is Lana Benico. 
not the greatest yeah, position, I know, but the lower wilds is as close to the Sith Academy as our team could manage. The Republic's pulled out all the stops with this invasion, but we fully expect your retaliation to surpass their efforts. Fight your way up to the Valley of the Dark Lords and reclaim the Sith Academy. All right, here we spare go. No. Spare no one. They really don't want me to spare anybody, do they? Maybe they didn't like when I spared the other guy. The other, like, youngling Jedis. But look, man, I'm not a Sith. I'm more of a, like, I'm just a, I'm just a freaking, I'm just a bounty hunter, man. I'm a Mandalorian bounty hunter. I'm not about slaughtering everyone, you know? I just want to get, get my credits. I want to get my credits and go. Let's take these guys out. Just for funsies. Oh, I missed it completely right there. I have a bad feeling about this, right? As Vader says, What? What? <laughs> What? I love that line. Can I hit this guy here? Yeah, I can. Man, he's healing fast. Look how fast that person's healing. Put a little shock on him so they can't heal up. No! There we go. Wow, they were healing fast, man. See that Klingon? They were healing fast. All right, we go right here. Take these guys back. Jack them up real quick. That's a, re a heavy droid. Okay. Right, there we go. These Republic Troopers have no freaking hope, dude. Just waylaying these guys. Yeah, and then R2 gets hit by a laser bolt, right? Poor R2. R2, D2, it is you. That was a sad moment. I remember when I watched New Hope for the first time and R2 got hit by the, the shot. I was I was sad for him. I was really nervous for him too. Hopefully that disrupted him. Those Jedi back. Put this guy real quick. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, there's something we missed over here. We gotta blow this thing up over here, I think. Maybe? Oh no, it's back here. What'd we miss? There's something I'm supposed to do over here? Uh, defeat ground forces, which I did. Defeated them right here. Oh, maybe these over here in the corner. I gotta defeat these guys too. Let's get a little shield up here. So I can focus on that big guy. Yeah, I know, right? Like it was a little nerve nerve wracking, and then when you get to see them all repaired at the end of New Hope, it felt good. Seeing seeing R two looking all good. All right, it's telling me there's something else here, but I don't think it is. It's just wanting me to defeat ground forces. There's some over here. Let's go get these ground forces. Oh, jeez. All right, let's get off of that. Here's 
Yeah, I tried, didn't he? Alright, that was it. Yeah, I had to get those little guys on the sides. I had to get those little guys on the sides before I could go to the next level. That was it. Man, I'm, I hope you guys are looking forward to uh, falling back an extra hour. Getting a little bit more sleep. It's coming Monday. Empath, huh? That guy's an empath? Concussion. Now that little kill zone. Shiny and new, right? Some of that. A little disruption there. The shields a little closer in. There we go, a little concussive shot. Get back. Better, better hit these smaller guys first. Those mind control beasts. That's like what Ezra did in, in uh, Rebels. Dave Filoni taking a cue out of that. Biggs, yeah, I know, right? The behind the scenes stuff of Biggs was cool too, man. It was like really cool with him, you know? that guy up. He's almost dead. Almost dead. One more good shot. There we go. Got him before, uh... I word from Sergeant Tarston on the ground. It appears your arrival hasn't gone unnoticed. A Republic barricade has just been fashioned to buy your progress. Wow. While hastily constructed, it is formidable. But we have every faith in you. That was a way better belt I got right there. 210 to 258. Let's see here. A couple of stat changes over there. Alright, let's keep it rolling. Where do I go next? To the right. Right up here. Oh, there it is. The lift. Gotta wait for it to come back down now. Ah. <clears throat> Gotta be a high lift. There it goes. Yeah, there's a rumor. Uh, cling on right now about um, a possible Old Republic movie or show, which I would be a hundred percent down on, man. Like I, I love, I'd love the Old Republic. Like anything Old Republic is like has massive potential. <clears throat> just, just massive potential. Like up here. But like you, you think about it, I mean. The thing that the thing that makes me feel at least good about it is, you know, that Dave Filoni is basically doing almost he has a hand in, in most of the story that's being written right now, you know. Um, and I think Dave, like, I feel like Dave is a fan first, you know, and then a writer second. So that's why I feel like he just gets everything that Star Wars fans want to see and and watch and consume, you know. I feel like he's always been like a fan first, you know, and that that has helped him um, and everything that he does.
take out this guy over here. But Filoni's the man, man. He just, he has so much, like, he's done so much for Star Wars recently. Him and, and John Favreau, I've done a lot for Star Wars, and I'm, I'm thankful for it. You know, we got to see it, we got to see a Luke in his prime again. You know, the things that, like, for me, like, that I always wanted to see. I always wanted to see Luke in his prime, you know? Like, I always wanted to see what it would be like if Luke, like, had time like Anakin did. And had a chance to, like, really just shine, you know? What is it this time, Sergeant? These Sith apprentices were holed up in a medical supply storeroom. They're injured, some of them seriously, but they're able to walk at least. Your orders. I'm gonna be kind. They're in no shape to fight. Find them someplace where they can recover. Yes, of course. I'll see to it personally. Move out, cowards. Now! And these, these guys are ruthless, man. Yeah, exactly. Just keep it going great. Just keep it going great. Like, we need great Star Wars, you know? There's a lot of stinking potential. Like, I am so stoked for the Obi-Wan series. I'm stoked to see Ahsoka. Hopefully Ezra. Like, I think Ezra could be just as cool or as awesome as Luke. You know, I feel like his story is very similar in that, you know, just a young kid that didn't know better and then got thrust into this major story, you know? Oh, dude, I sent that, that Jedi, like, guardian over the edge, way over there. That was hilarious. I sent him flying over the edge. Uh, need to go down there, I guess. Like I do. Oh crap! Holy crap! Holy crap, dude! Dude, those guys were all over me. What the heck? You grew up as a kid and became really what uh, the for like, yeah, exactly, like, exactly, exactly, bro. Like, and you gotta think, like, his master was trained by, you know, Kan he was trained by Kanan, whose master was Depa Balapa, who was awesome, and she was trained by Mace. Like, there's a great lineage there, you know. There's like a really great lineage there. It's like we're taking this thing on. So I can do that. And then put up my shield. Siege droid, dude. Come on, shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Ah. Slow that thing down right there. Ooh! Shooting those missiles after me. Almost got him. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. There we go. 
See, the thing is, though, man, there's there's really great Jedi. It's almost impossible to do that. Is it? It doesn't make sense uh, in canon. Like it's a it's a really cool fan concept. But unfortunately, with the way the force works, Lucas even said Grey Jedi would not be able to exist because there's not the capability to dabble in the dark side. Because once, as Yoda says, once you start down the path of the dark side, uh, forever will it dominate your destiny, you know? So we've seen that like Revan said a good example of that. Is uh, Mix Window really dead or is he still out? Uh, Mace Windu? Mace Windu in canon, he is dead. And in the canon books, he is toast. There's a lot of fans that want him to come back, but he's he's done. I think it makes sense for him to be done, too, because he kind of represents the old order that, that had so many mistakes, you know, that, that just basically their dogma is what really screwed the Jedi. And, uh, it, you know, the changes that Luke made, at least in the old legends, was was great for the order. Um, but yeah, I think I think Mace is. Uh, I think he's done. There's I could get my uh, my canon book for you and show you. But in the, the Star Wars encyclopedia, it lists all the characters in the Star Wars universe and their status. And it says that he's deceased. So he done. Stayed up on the wall this time so they couldn't get me. Those things are huge, man. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool. Like, I know Star Wars theory has some really cool, like, uh, like some really cool, like Star Wars. What else where, you know, Mace is basically still alive. But honestly, I think I think it's probably better that he, he did pass because it kind of lessens his death. Um, and it also, if he was alive, why didn't he? Uh, why didn't he help Luke? Why didn't he help defeat the Emperor? You know, unless he turned into a Sith, which I don't feel like Mace would turn into a Sith because he was a hardcore Jedi man. Like he was a hardcore Jedi. Heavy troop out of there. Uh, right there. Guys, that little Jedi Knight right there. Give him a little taste of those. Yeah, he's he's like like the more dogmatic of the Jedi, so I would think it 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 doesn't make sense to have him still alive, you know? Like, I get it. Like, people are like, Maul survived. Let's have him come back. I feel like Maul's kind of can fit a little bit better into canon. Seeing as how, uh, you know, he's almost like a Darth, uh, Darth, Darth Sion, you know? Where his anger and his hatred is what kept him alive, even though he should have been dead. You know, if you've played the the Old Republic, which it, that's not necessarily canon, but it's it very similar to that, you know, where he uses hatred for Kenobi to fuel him and keep him alive. Perfect. They all got in one little spot. One little spot for me. So I can hit them all. That must be where the Republic Command is operating from. We hope you don't find any Dark Council members up there. Captured or dead, either would constitute a Uh, there was actually quite a few. I mean, you, you think about it. Kanan, Kanan Jarrus stayed alive. Or, you know, Caleb Doom. Uh, Ezra, that was a Jedi. Uh, there's quite a few Jedi that survived in the Darth Vader comics. If you read the 2017 Darth Vader comics, uh, there's quite a few Jedi. Uh, Jocasta Nu stayed alive in the, in the temple. She was in the temple. 
And she was confronted by Darth Vader um, until eventually, you know, she was killed. But, um, but yeah, so, I mean, there was quite a few Jedi that actually did survive. I mean, you think about it, there, there was uh, also uh, Cal Kestis, uh, Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi. There's quite a few that did make it. I mean, I would really like to see more stuff with Cal Kestis and Jedi Fallen Order 2. That game was awesome. We'll get a little bit more uh, a picture of the Inquisitors as well. Kind of see a little bit more of that. Like, that would be really cool to get to see a little more uh, of the Inquisitors. Get back, Jedi. There's quite a few. If you've never read the 2017 Darth Vader comics, I highly recommend it. Uh, even the 2020 Darth Vader comics right now are pretty good, too. Yeah, I mean, there, there's definitely a lot of ways you could do it. Uh, Klingon, there's, there's, there's quite a few ways you could do it. Okay, so we got... Let's do that one first. Since we're right here. Yeah, there's, qu there's quite a few ways. I mean, there's... There's a lot they could do. There's a lot they could do for sure. I mean, I wouldn't be 100% opposed to Mace coming back. I just think it makes sense to let his sacrifice be what it is. You know? We got to see a really awesome moment for Mace 2 in uh, Clone Wars season, six, uh, season, season 7. You know, he's basically confronted with thousands of droids and he asks them to surrender which is like the most jedi thing you could do right you're surrounded you think you're gonna die because you're outnumbered and they're kind of like you're a joke he's like i just want to let you know i killed a lot of you guys even though you're droids i still want to spare your life and they still just you know fought of course because that was their programming but still it was a really cool moment in, in clone wars <laughs> That guy was like all in it. All in it, wasn't he? Get some credits. Credits! Put that pedal on right there. You think Disney wants to recast the role of Luke Skywalker? Uh, I mean, if they use Sebastian Stan, I think that's like what every fan wants, you know? Like if they if they did Sebastian Stan, I mean, he I think he would do really well. Even the stand-in actor that they have for the Mandalorian, like he was, he looked really, he looked like a lot like Luke. Yeah, I think I think that is actually the plan. I think they are gonna make a. That's really cool. They got holocrons right here, or data 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 crons. Um, I think that is the plan. They're eventually going to make like a Luke Skywalker uh, story, or at least that's been kind of like the thing right there is like beeping at me. Oh, no, 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 did I fall? Ah, Phil. Um, there's been a lot of rumors that that's basically what we're going to see is a like a like a Luke Skywalker. Did I do it again? I did it again. As eventually a lot of people are saying that, you know, we will. We're probably going to get like a Luke Skywalker sto uh, story. I mean, there's so much to do. So much to do. Is this a new game for you? Listen here, Trax. You know me well, sir. <laughs> this is not a new game. Look at my level. 72. What's your level, Trax? You see, you're still playing Guild Wars 2? <laughs> uh, what's up, brother? It's good to see you, man. Oh, I guess I did that one. Uh, where do I need to go back down? Okay. Saying I need to go back down, or what's it saying I need to go here? I don't get it. This way. Here. Your door here? Oh, it's underneath, I think. Yeah. Uh, how you been, man? You been hanging in there? Hanging tough. Guild Wars 2 took all your MMO time. Hey, I've been doing that. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of uh, New World. New World's pretty cool. I, I really do enjoy New World. 
Um, I think I'm going to try to start streaming again, like more frequently here on the channel now that we've moved to YouTube of you. instead of Twitch. I, I, I finally are getting like settled in with my job. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I can start streaming a little bit more instead of just uh, Star Wars Sundays. Like I'm thinking I might stream some more of the, the, the new season of Apex tomorrow if I can. We'll see, man. We'll see. Although I've been having a lot of fun in Battlefront too. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie and say I have not been having a lot of fun in Battlefront 2. What the heck? There it goes. Yeah, I, I just need to do it because like we we need to get our like uh, watch hours up on the channel. Like it's crazy. We have so many like views for our shorts and our other content and stuff like that. We just like all the interviews we used to do when we used to cover packs and E3 and all that stuff, you know, before uh, COVID, like all those watch hours have just basically dropped. So we're starting back from nothing almost. Like every day I look at it and I'm like, oh, it should be going up. And I'm like, oh, yeah, shorts don't count for your watch time for partnership on YouTube. And uh, I haven't been streaming enough, so, you know. Yeah, they, they did a mind wipe on C-3PO. You're right, Klingon. Uh, wait, is it back down here? It is down here. Uh, this way. Play him one handed. You know, I should really set up my, uh, my razor for, uh, with this game, but I have never done it. Yeah, shorts don't count toward uh, being partnered. Now, I know, I, well, I don't know how much I can say because we are partnered as YouTube shorts creators. We are partnered with that, but I don't know how much I can actually physically say from our last partner meeting. So, but yeah. So, when you get partnered on the long form content as well. Because I'm wanting to do like more reviews and things like that, like even movie reviews. I think it'd be really fun to start doing some movie reviews and things like that as well. Like there's so much you can do on YouTube. It's incredible. You know, it's like streaming is a supplement to, to everything YouTube. Yeah, I'm, 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 I know what I can say, Trax. I got to be careful. But Klingon, yeah, you're right about C-3PO, man. It's a little sad, actually. So this is telling me I need to go up now. It's making me run all over the place just to complete this mission. It's telling me to go up now. Okay, back in the middle. Here we go. Oh. Council elevator door. I wonder what this could be. But yeah, I want to get back to streaming some more. You know, things things are finally starting to smooth out with the new job. I mean, I've been there like, like four months, five months now. So. I'm excited about uh, some of the things I'm getting to do there, though, tracks. I have to tell you at some point, man. Not on stream, but some pretty exciting stuff. Of you. Take that. They just like get right up on you, don't they? Holy crap. There's all of them on me. Jeez. Yeah, I have, man. Um,. I mean, my workload is increasing, but it's a, in a good way. It's stuff that I know, so the workload doesn't feel super, super bad. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense at all. Hey, these guys are like crazy. 
Uh, yes, I cling on. We used to actually stream on Twitch, but we've now just moved over to YouTube because I really do think in the next. I don't know, probably year, year and a half, maybe two years that YouTube will be where it's at for streamers. Like right now, most people are, are like programmed to go to Twitch for live streams because uh, that's just where most people are. But I think the I mean, there's no basically with YouTube. There's no limit to my bit rate. There's no limit to the quality I can make my stream look. It's basically limited by how quick my Internet is. Um, there's also the ability that we're going to have clips coming soon and some I don't know, a bunch of other things that are coming where you can actually clip something while you're playing and then upload it as a short almost immediately. Like your discoverability is just insane on YouTube, man. Just insane. And so rather than trying to like have it, we just decided to move the whole thing over here. Now, we're not getting any subs or anything they like that on YouTube entrance. anymore or on uh, Twitch anymore. But, you know, it's a kind of a sacrifice. You should have done it, Trax. You should have done you it. You the one in charge here? Before you answer, I was told to kill whoever's in charge here. So it's happening. I didn't think I'd have served my purpose so soon. What are you going on about? What purpose? <laughs> we believe in a cause worth protecting. That's a Mandalorian. Worth dying for. Or at least Mandalorian armor. Let's find out if you can say the same. The Force, give us strength! Here's all the little bots. All right. Press the attack! This fight was inevitable! Okay. This is interesting. He's going after my droid, so I can just sit back here and just pop this guy. I fight for something greater than myself. You know I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna download Guild Wars tracks. You know I'm not. Oh man, what the heck happened right there? I can't, I can't get really out of that at all. Take me? I'm not only a Jedi, I'm a soldier! I'm not only a Jedi, I'm a soldier! Let's take out those droids. We didn't get me that time. You can't win. Oh, I can win. Who is he shooting? Like, what's that guy doing? I I shouldn't. I can only do so many MMOs at once, man. The Sith Academy, disgusting. There's only so many MMOs I can do, man. Thought this that would bear. be a memorable fight. Let's throw this out there and that out there. Just kind of help a little. I need to get my. Hardly impressive. Oh, he caught me that time. I thought I could just walk away. Did you really think you could take me? Thought this would be a memorable fight. Oh, he like siphoned some of my health. I fight for something oh, it's still there. Myself. It's still there. I enjoy New World. It's fun. You can't stop it. That guy is done. Oh, let's see what Ludi gave me. Oh my goodness! All I saw was a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's see here. That actually is quite good. Yes. We shall put that on. We shall put that on. This one better? Uh, successful, uh, okay. Armor tech. No, it's about, it's the same. It's almost the same. Okay. Right on. I got some good stuff, though. Ooh, what? I got the command. Let me pull it up again. Like, what the heck is happening? Weird, dude. All right. Right when I was at the end. But uh, yeah, I, I think right now, I mean, tracks, I'm not going to pick it up because there's also Halo Infinite coming soon. 
And we do a podcast for that too, so I'm going to be doing that a lot. Let me just do this real quick, just to monitor, make sure it's not my PC. Pull up Afterburn. Just to check. Oh, I think it's like kaput right now. It's kaput. This is the way. Ah, good job. I'm going to need you to quit being logical with this decision. I know, right? This is the way. I'll have to put, put my uh, Mando helmet over here next time so I can wear it during stream. All right, at least it put me back where I was. This is like the third time it's it's kicked me out of the servers tonight. See what they say. <sighs> it's happening. It's all happening, and you can't stop it. Hmm. Start talking, dude. Tell me what you know. You should know by now you can't threaten a dead man, bounty hunter. All right, that was a pointless conversation. Thanks, buddy. And with that, the Sith Academy is secure. I suppose good saying good work would constitute a gross understatement. This I think Jedi it's because it's the 10th anniversary tracks. Odd things. I'm sure Darth Arcus would like to hear about it. So there's He's like they up re-uploaded the or they redid the really cinematics in 4K and everything. So, so people are back in the game, I think. And much yet to discuss. I hope we see you soon. Bunch of people are going back in the game and, and playing. All right. Yeah, I'll take that. Flashpoint. Cool. Yeah, it, I mean, there. there's also uh, the new DLC coming out soon and also the texture upgrades and stuff like that are coming soon. Like the everything's getting upgraded. So it's going to be interesting, man. I, I think a lot of people are going to be back in SOTOR. And I'm wondering if they're going to make some of this canon. You know, I'm really wondering if they're going to make some of this canon. Like, I feel like possibility that some of this at least a little of this story could be made canon especially at the rumors about um, old republic game coming out you know the republic's been flushed from the sith academy and their commander jensen is dead there's something up with these guys man you have served the empire with strength and passion I applaud you. You know what I'm going to say? You know, I'm going to say that tracks. I'm going to have one thing that I want to say to you. You should do. Do it right there. <laughs> do it. You do it. Execute man. Order, order 66. 66. <laughs> Just do it, bro. All right, let's see here. Um, you assert the Empire was strength and the passion. I applaud you. Did I said something? Before he died, Commander Jensen made a comment about having served his purpose. He did. Almost makes it sound as though the Republic sacrificed all those forces in support of some ulterior motive. I feel that, Listen, brother. I want to be sure you understand that what you've accomplished, both on Korriban and on Tython, will be long remembered. Good. Everyone will look back on these days as the nascent events that framed a new foundation for the galaxy. They will see those who participated as its architects. Down, dial down the rhetoric. Do you think you could stop making speeches at me? <laughs> um, it's become a habit, I'm afraid. It comes from years of speaking to the easily led and the utterly stupid. Oh my god. You, of course, are neither. Lana and I are indebted to you for your exemplary actions in the Empire's name. We thank you. 
Yes, thank you. I do hope we have the chance to speak again. Preferably soon. Oh, dang. Glory I think she's going to betray him. I think she's going to betray him. I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my bones. Okay. Leave his chambers. Okay. This is Lana Benico. I need you to meet with me somewhere private. Uh huh. The Empire's only hope. Oh, dang. I felt it. I felt a disturbance in the force. Main level. Let's go. Sabres out. Sabres on and out. Let's go. I think something's about to happen here. All right, she wants to meet up here. Let's see what she says. Is she above or below? I think she's below. Yeah, the server's lagging again. Do you see that? Hope I don't get kicked again. She's supposed to be right here. Where's she at? Must be above. I don't see her! In the fleet cantina. So she's gotta be right there. That is the cantina right there. Where the heck is she? Maybe if I do this. There. Oh, nope. Maybe she'll show up if I stand right here. What? Let's do a little dance. Yeah. <laughs> She's supposed to be right here at the Fleet Cantina, is what it says. That's not above me. It's like right here. Like I'm literally standing. Oh, okay, there we go. I had to sit at the table. That's what it was. He's dressed differently. You came. Good. I'm aware I've been somewhat quiet following your success on Tython. Don't mistake my reticence for apathy. Truth is, I have a great deal to say. Dang. Now that we're alone, we can have a real dialogue. Darth Arcus wouldn't appreciate you going behind his back like this. No, I don't imagine he would. Especially considering what I have to say. Darth Arcus wasn't entirely forthcoming about his reasons for invading the Jedi Temple. Not even with me. He was after a very specific item. An artifact. Uh-huh. I, I overheard Arcus talking to Go. It did seem like they had some ulterior motive. If I knew more, I could determine what, what, what exactly is. is that? I need you There's to clarify. There's very good reason to be concerned about it. I mean by Meaning? That. I now believe that the Republic's attack on Korriban wasn't a retaliation for Tython. It was intended to coincide with our own attack. Interesting. Here it's going. Getting pushed down. Um, that seems odd. Attacking Korriban while the Empire still held the Jedi Temple didn't make much sense to me at the time. It still doesn't. Nor should it. Not from our current vantage point, but a wider context may exist that could explain recent events. There's something in the Force that I've never felt before. It exists nowhere and everywhere at once, rising, growing. That sounds ominous. I think I sense this growth because I'm tied to it somehow. Maybe by association to Darth Arcus. I think, I think the Empire is in terrible danger. You're of great importance to the Empire, yet you exist outside of it. Hunter, I can't think of anyone better suited to be on my side right now. Oh, you got that right. You can't think of anyone better, because there isn't. <laughs> but you already know that, don't you? I suppose I do. 
a little well, bit of a flirt I'm there. there's nothing for us to act on just yet. I'll keep my eyes and ears open. You do the same. That's I awesome. I have to be at Arcus's side now, but I'll remain in touch. I promise. I promise. Oh, dang. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. What? <laughs> Indeed, you are powerful, as the Emperor has foreseen. All right, let's see. Recovered relics. Imperial HK customization? What? I can get HK 51? I didn't know I could do that. I mean, these are both low level rewards, but I'll take it. Can be exchanged for special items at the Flashpoint vendor. Okay, nice. Probably could sell some of this stuff real quick. I accept all forms of currency. Let's sell that. Uh, sell that one. Yeah, right. There we go. Got this fixed. Okay, Klingon, you're gonna have to explain. What do you mean by that, man? Last way, make someone feel good about doing something you don't want them to do yourself. Exactly. Exactly, Trax. Exactly. Um, let's sell some stuff. Sell that. I got a bunch of these, man. Sell those. Sorted scrap droid parts. Sell those. Thank you right. for your patronage. All right, let's see what is next. Shuttle pass, okay. Go speak with her. Hey, ooh, Baroness. She was bear. And that one right there. Oh, this is a cool new planet. I don't think I've been here. Wow. Looks super cool, man. All right, let's go find her. Straight ahead. This planet looks awesome. Welcome center. This does not feel very Sith like. Feels almost like a, uh, almost like a uh, clone, like Camino, like you know. There she is. Not close enough, apparently. I have to look at it again. Welcome. I have to look tracks. So good to see you again. As implied in our last brief communication, Darth Arcus is at the center of a grand conspiracy. Arcus had the Jedi Temple raided to acquire knowledge of Rakata technology that he could use to harm the Empire. Even now, he plots against us. There a price on his head yet, or what? This is still just between us, Hunter. No one else in the Empire knows what we do. I followed Arcus to a secure undersea laboratory here on Manan. Well, he's working with a that's the planet. Geneticist on something. I've been trying to learn more. I've also discovered that Colonel Darrock secured passage to the same laboratory. He was this like clone the Republic's raid on Korriban. It's clone stuff. Dark Council members make for attractive targets. This Derek might be ending the Arcus problem for us. As you say, he's our problem, meaning we need to resolve it ourselves. We must confront Arcus in that laboratory. Interesting. As I said, it's a well-protected facility. You'll have to make your way through heavily armed Selkath and dismantle their security grid. I can You're do that. not coming? I'd intended to confront Darth Arcus myself, but I sense a presence here. A potential ally. I'll remain in touch and let you know how my search progresses. May the Force be at your service. Interesting the way she says that. It's not may the Force be with you. The force will be with you. Always. 
Interesting. Interesting. This is getting interesting. Robbie was right. This is the story is getting more and more interesting. I'm getting more and more enticed by it. Yeah, this planet looks awesome though, right? Like, like it looks really cool. All right, where do we go next to the over here? I will say what's nice is that they streamlined the story a little bit toward these the end of the, some of this stuff. Like I don't have to go to like five different planets and hop around do a bunch of stuff just to get to the story. Flashpoint story mode, okay. All right. Man, it looks so cool, though. Looks really cool. All right, we go this way. This is Lana. Darth Arcus isn't there. I can sense him. We have to learn yes, what Robbie. the Skullcath are doing down there and confront him. To have Here we go. Place, you'll need to shut down the go. security grid. You have the coordinates now. I'll stay in touch. It's getting more and more interesting here. I'm not scared of you. Holy crap, look at all those guys. Yeah, just cluster up like that for me. That makes it a lot easier for me to kill you all. Just I'm gonna use this choke point right here. <laughs> Manamana. That's what I wanted to say when I first saw it the first time, Robbie. Drive uh, into Soto or making him stop. Make him stop. Yeah. Make him stop. Robbie, really what it is, just tracks, just really wants to play Soto again, and he, he doesn't need me to encourage him. That's what it is. A little bit of a trick to the last boss on this? Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, hopefully. Hopefully, I won't die multiple times, so... Hopefully so. All right, there is a lot of guys there. Get off me, robot. Do it, Trax. Do it. Kill that guy real quick. That medic is gonna die. Fire support. He did. That's what I was trying to tell him is he just needs to just do it. Do it. You know? Do it. I've met our potential ally, who's already proved quite resourceful. He's learned of a prisoner in a security hub who's been scheduled for disposal by experimentation. This scheduled Jikaro sounds like someone you might want to talk with. Jakaro. All right. Look at they they just pile up right there for me so I can I can hit them all like that. Like it makes my job so much easier. You know, what can I say? That I do a good job at promoting games. Good job. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. X Wing or Y Wing or X Wing parts? Oh. I am an X Wing guy, not a Y Wing. I get why people like Y Wings, but I am an X Wing guy. Y wings are are the uh, bread and butter of the old republic. Okay, we'll just do a little, little little pop right there. I mean, these droids are not that strong. I mean, they just they're just piling up for me, making it easy for me, making it easy. 
convinces von Kira Kranban. Okay. I heard that guy talk, and that was weird sounding. Let's, let's take those things out then first. Oh, he's using freaking shotguns, man. Let's take these guys out first. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah, let's take those guys out, man. Man, these guys with the shields, I can't break through them. Let's see if I can get these guys here. Appreciate the sub. This is the way. Maybe I can go right there. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do some super, man. You know you got to. Those freaking bots. Alright, let's take out this guy first. Maybe he'll. He's got like these huge. He's got like those huge. Uh... Maybe I have to focus on him more. Yeah, he's, he's going down much faster. There we go, I got one of the guys hurt. You gotta log in so you get your guild bonuses, man. There we go, yeah, I should have focused on that guy the whole time instead of the bots. Those bots were tough. Bots were strong. Oh, dang. Armor's slightly worse, but we'll we'll hang on to it. I, oh dude, I got a customization for an HK droid. That's awesome. Didn't even realize I had that. It's like a Chewy. Chewy! All right, let's go let this guy out. Yeah, it is in seven day. I thought about Mass Effect, but it is Star Wars Sunday, so we're doing Star Wars. I thought about doing Andromeda, Bobby. For in seven days. Yeah, baby. The hot gun. We're rescued! What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Jakaro, my most sincere apologies for his outburst. Please don't leave us here to rot. I implore you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm guessing you two have no choice but to stick together. I am C2D4, former translator to Her Eminence, Queen Lena of Onderon. And this is my current master, what? the renowned Only once. transport specialist, Jakara. Only once. A smuggler, in other words. Jakara was hired, quite innocuously, by a Selkath geneticist named yeah, Garima. We Funny. delivered a large shipment of perfectly legal medical supplies here to this facility. Imagine our consternation when Garima then had us imprisoned and interrogated most harshly by two awful creatures. That uh, droid's all jacked up. Like a throwback to Chewie. Ah, okay, I get you now. All right. All right, uh, we'll see here. So it's true. 
Darth Argus and Colonel Derek are working together. I mean, Robbie, it's not it's not Shepard. You know. But I think I Is think it's a good game. Uh, join me. An extra hand wouldn't be entirely unwelcome. Interested? All right. We shall endeavor to hurry and regroup with you at our earliest opportunity. <laughs> Those guys, man. That is hilarious. Yeah, it's not, it's definitely a new uh, iteration or a new twist on the Emmy game. That's for sure, Robbie. It, it's not like the old school Emmy games. But I just, I really enjoyed it. Like nice the, the, the scenery. Friend, or friends, as it were. But a warning. You're about to encounter members of the Order of Shasa. Force sensitive cell cut who are neither Jedi nor Sith. Their complicity here does not bode well for us. All right. Well, we're doing it. We're doing it. I drank two things of tea before this, and now I'm thinking I shouldn't have. Like, I'm wide awake. Wide awake. Dude, this this looks like cloning or back to tanks. Dude, I'm telling you, these guys, like, just rush me, and it's, like, perfect. Like all of all of my freaking abilities are like AOE. So I'm just like wrecking these guys' faces. Yeah, that guy was was toast as well. Need coffee? Coffee. Java, 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 Java. Let's hit those guys. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, what was that? That century off me. Sentry back there, still there. Yeah, what the heck? They're like, oh yeah, they're growing something, dude. You see that? Like growing something. Something of these tan. It, this looks like cloning, dude. They're doing like cloning or something. Are they trying to freaking clone it, like to bring Revan back? They're trying to be like Emperor Palpatine. Is that what it is? Don't tell me this is where they got inspiration for this. Our ally just made note of strange power signatures in your vicinity. He believes they may be emanating from Rakata technology. It warrants a closer look. Tap into a nearby console. Oh, jeez. So God, dude, like all those guys came out at once. It was nuts. It is like all there at once. Let's go over here first.
There we go. I actually took my health down a little bit right there. Just like trying to like... They were all just like swamping me. First time I actually had to use a little bit of my abilities to get away. Alright, let's use a... Uh... This is my concussion, man. Galaxy 2, appreciate the sub. This is the way. It's, see, like, the servers are just getting hammered, I think. I think they're getting hammered right now. All right, so let me do this again one more time. I got to finish this little story section here. I have to pull it up like this, guys, in the Millennium Falcon, because I don't want you guys to see my login info. So, sorry about that. I think the servers are just getting pounded, man. Just getting pounded. Thousands understand the struggle, I know, right? Right? Finish this part, man. Finish it. Thankfully, it, even though it's kicking me, it's keeping me in the same spot because I'm getting back in quick enough. So it's like, because it keeps you in that same spot for like, what is it, like a minute and a half or something like that? Five minutes or something? It very well could be my internet because I have noticed uh, my internet being junky lately. I think it's probably an attempt by my IP to make me upgrade because they keep sending me uh, stuff saying, hey, you want to upgrade for extra $20 a month? And I'm like, no. I already pay a crap ton of money for what I get right now. And it's not great. Ah, crap, 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 crap. that dude up. Yeah, I, I think they're 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 purposefully uh, crapping out on the internet sometimes. They want me to upgrade to uh, more megabytes per second, but what I'm paying right now, they should just give me that megabytes per second. Because that's how much some of the other competitors are doing. So I may I may actually look into going over to AT and T fiber. I've just heard like stories that AT&T fiber is hit or miss sometimes. So that's the only reason why I haven't done it. Because we, we pay for it anyways with, you know, because my wife uh, like owns her own business. So uh, the Internet's, you know, part of her business anyway, so it can be written off. But still, it's like it's a pain in the butt, you know? <laughs> Run away! Keep, no! Keep running. Let me put that on. Now I can hit him. I can take a Zoka's whole game with me. Now dip. Jeez! 
All right, there's got to be something I can hit over here. Pick out the zealots first. Keep going. I waited five years for my company to get fiber my ever finally gave up and moved companies and got a call from ECO saying fiber was finally moving in. Oh my gosh, that sucks. That sucks big time, man. That that is the pain. Oh crap, here comes all the acolytes. Oh crap. Oh my gosh! They're all over me. All right, let's do that. If I can turn up face this guy. Dang it. I'm almost got this guy. Ah, crap. Maybe that'll stun him enough. Got him. Jeez. She's meditating using her connection to Dark Argus to pinpoint his location. She wanted you to know if I found anything, and I did. Energy readings from Garima's lab. The kind of technology's firing up like crazy in there. Don't know for sure what's going on, but I can pretty much guarantee it's got to be stopped. Dang. Uh, so this thing is a masterwork. We're gonna throw it on there for sure. Man, I'm getting some good gear in here. Hold on, is that? It's telling me I can, why is there, there's like a cooldown on it right now, that's weird. I guess it can't put it on quite yet. Trying to put it right there. There we go. Okay. Right on. Is there more I can do? Can I put it down here, maybe? That's where it goes? Ah, that's where it goes. Oh, jeez. Okay. Wow. Man, I got some, like, really good gear now. Now I just need to get a little bit better armor right here. The screen armor. Need to find some better armor right there, and I'll be set, man. I will be set. All right, let's see if we can finish this mission now. Yeah, tracks. I, I, I've really been thinking about it. Like, it's a hundred bucks a month for fiber for two years. It's locked in at that rate for two years. So it's, it's almost. I'm almost wanting to bite the bullet on it. Cause we pay close to that right now, and we don't have anything close to a hundred megabytes per second, or a thousand megabytes per second. I mean.
Time to talk. Is Hoge so hard nem kerst visa? The hard way. Nem vol king avila gito turko. La tate hata mogot a. Care to tell me where your underwriters are? Mine gin ritet neste a hoge hatal al ala sonak oraban. It's like Revan, dude. This is crazy. Oh, he's he's about to do something. Eves told Eri ni as Igrit. Lain Parnata Fader Zitin. He mustn't get another chance to betray us. Shoot him already. <laughs> oh, don't. We may need him. Garima could still be of use to us. Put your weapon down. Yeah, he I'm does. I'm not going to repeat myself, Jakaro. He does deserve to die, but I'm going to be nice right now. <laughs> How very unexpected. This is the potential complication you said. Yeah, I hear that tracks. It no, is a hassle is to go through that. Advisor, but Companies. rather an associate. It would appear Benico laid out a convincing case that I'm up to no good. Uh yeah. Convince me otherwise. Was she lying? Make your case for how you're not betraying the Empire with this Derek person. Though I am most definitely acting against the Empire's narrow interests. But what I do is not for ill, it is for the future of this galaxy. Sorry to cut this short, but since we have everything we need... That's a Republic Trooper, dude. Dang. I, I mean, I have a Spectrum as well, but it's... It is very hit or miss lately. Dang, dude, he's totally betraying us. Jerk! A jerk. We're leaving now. As this facility comes crushing down upon itself, enjoy a preview of our infinite army. All right. Get a preview of their army. Derek and Argus have checked out the emergency pods. No going back the way you came. The good news is I slayed one of the pods. Found a remote pilot headed for a docking hatch nearby. You should have the coordinates by now. Good news. It's like the bad batch. Like the it's literally like the bad batch, man. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. I'm going to lie. Where's my companion? She like just up and disappeared. And I hold on. Yeah, she's not like here. That's weird. Okay. Gain Rudy's from their Alpha Cyborg. That thing's serious and it's coming right for you. Stay sharp. I'm staying sharp. Heck, oh, that's one of those dudes. Boss fight. All right, I gotta break the shields. Holy crap! Jeez. 
Oh, he's like, he stays right up on me. And my companion is like screwed up. She's not healing me or doing anything. Jeez, man. Yeah, I think I think it's like glitch or something. Look, my companion's doing nothing. Come on. What the heck? Under, uh, you need to get the boss under the fire. Oh, I got you. Oh, I see it now. Come on, bud. Right here. Oh, it takes down a shield. I got you. Jeez. Like, I can't even move. He's, like, just right up on me. Get over here. Yeah, like, Mako, what are you doing? She's like just chilling right there. I'm trying. Jeez. Would have been a little bit easier if Mako wasn't freaking glitched. Yeah, I would have figured it out eventually because I saw him, but I couldn't. I was more concerned, like, why the heck Mako was not working. She was just, like, chilling. She was, like, jacked up. Because, like, I have her set as a healer. Hang on. Emergency pod's almost secure, but not quite. You're with the Republic, aren't you? That's right. I'm also saving your lives. You got a problem with that? I don't care. Just get us out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Hurry! I wasn't built to survive the crushing depths! <laughs> okay, all set. Climb in and enjoy the ride. Let's go. Well, it's a good thing I was not, um, like, really ruthless to some of those Jedi. <laughs> Was that a freaking sea monster I saw in the background? Looked like a freaking sea monster. Well, okay. Is that like a crate I can get stuff from? It does look like it. Oh, yeah. Do I have something cool in here? Please tell me I have some cool stuff in here. No, oh, but I have more stuff I can sell. Okay, well, this is probably a good stopping point for me, guys. Usually I try to keep the stream at around two hours or so, and it's been about two and a half. But guys, I appreciate it. I'm going to try to stream more this week 
We'll try to do it. We'll see what we can do. We may play a little bit Apex. We may play a little bit of Battlefront 2. I don't really know yet. We just kind of, we'll just kind of see from there and see how it goes. But uh, guys, I really do appreciate you guys being here and, uh, you know, hanging out and uh, watching the stream. And, uh, you know, make sure you tune into that podcast. We just had our podcast. Uh, what was it like uh, Thursday night? We had our uh, the Bendu podcast. We went over the, the Book of Boba Fett and all that fun stuff. Go check it out. Hey, Robbie, I appreciate it. It was fun. That was like really perfect timing there. That was like just perfect that, that the thing crashed. So anyways, all right, guys, have a great night. And uh, we'll hopefully catch y'all maybe tomorrow night. Have a good one.